Hey you, if you're watching this video, that means you want to be a Scratch YouTuber. You want to make videos about Scratch, but you don't know where to start. And I'm going to teach you how to do that. So here's how you start. First of all, you want to open up Scratch. That's your first That's your first step, right? So boom. You have your Scratch open. You have an account on. Fantastic. Now, um, assuming you already have a channel set up, we're just going to run through how I make a video. So... Obviously, I already have OBS open, but download OBS. If you don't know how to do that, just open up a tab. Just type in OBS, right? Just go to this first link. And then download whatever platform you need it. Obviously, mine is Windows, but... So, yeah. Once you have OBS, you're going to open it. It's going to yell at me for already having one open. Launch it anyways. So, I have it open on another screen. So, okay, here we go. So, when you open it up, you're probably not going to see anything. But I have a bunch of them for a bunch of different kinds of videos. So you're gonna start by coming over to the scenes. You probably have nothing here. You're gonna come over to these scenes and you're gonna click this this new thing, this 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 plus, and it's gonna say add scene. You're gonna name it whatever you want. Um, I named mine Scratch, as you can see. So I'm just gonna name mine like Scratch of You, right? And then you should get this black screen. This is new scratching. Now you should have the sources tab over here, right? You know, click the plus on this thing, and you're gonna hit display capture, right? You could do window capture. I might, I probably should start doing window capture. So hit window capture, right? And you don't even have to name that one. And then it's gonna come in here and ask which one it wants you to do. I have three open, but chrome.exe with your scratch, hit okay. And then look at that, it already has this up. You should, and now you can move this stuff around, right? The reason I like display capture is because it actually fills up the whole thing. So I'm, I'm gonna keep using display capture. So display capture. And then all you have to do is obviously I have two, but display one is my first monitor, which is what you're seeing right now. Display two is my other one, which just has a, another OBS open on it. So we're going to go to the first one right here. Hit OK. Now you have this. So I'm going to minimize this just so you can see what's going on. So now you have this. And you can see Scratch behind you. So you don't need to even set up any of the settings. Just make sure your microphone is set to the correct thing. So you should have a desktop and a microphone. So if you go to your settings right here, it opens up this. And then, wait, that should still be recording this, right? Yeah, okay, it is. <laughs> so, and then once you're in here, you come to this, uh, this, uh, la, 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 this audio. And all this is here. You'll see these devices. Desktop audio, keep default. That'll just keep your desktop audio. Desktop audio is who I have disabled. For your first mic auxiliary, put in the microphone you use. I use a microphone stereo. Um, if you wanted to make a video, you could put in your, um, you could set up a webcam. I'm not going to do that because I don't show my face. Um, then all you need to do is hit record, just like that, and it's start recording the screen. And then you could start doing whatever you wanted to do. Maybe you want to make an explore page exploration. You go, oh, hey, look at this explore page. You click on a thing, and you start doing stuff with it. So let's say you made a video, right? You made a video. Oh, boy, wait, which one is my thing? This one. Okay. And you hit your stop recording and now this is where you'd set up where you'd want your stuff so so you probably should have done this before you made the video you hit settings and you hit output right and then you hit recording and then right here is where you put your your file where you want it so you browse where you want it mine's under my youtube stuff for my videos to be edited and it puts it in here and then i go and edit the video so select folder boom and then it'll automatically put that video there so now i can open up my my thing and I can go to YouTube, right here. So YouTube and the videos to be edited, and then along with two other ones, this is the one that's currently be recorded right now. So this is one that I just made. So I can go ahead, I don't need that right now. But this is the one we just made right here, so we can watch it. So that right there, so it's like, then you could start doing whatever you wanted to do. Maybe you want to make an explore page exploration. You go, oh, hey. Boom, okay, cool. That has its thing that shows you how to do so I'm gonna delete that now. Well, no, yeah, no, I'm not. So then what you do is you'd come to your content, right? Oh, by the way, here's a sneak peek of. Actually, no, these videos already came out. Never mind, it's Friday. <laughs> I record all my videos at the same time, just schedule them. Ha! You've all been lied to. I don't make them all. I don't make them every day. I just schedule them all. I I got you guys. Okay, but you're gonna hit this little create button, and you're gonna hit upload videos. You're gonna hit select files. It's gonna open up this. Uh, then you go to your thing, and then videos to be edited, and then you click on the video. And then it shows it up. Obviously, I'm not going to edit that video. Obviously, otherwise, you'd open up like your editing software. I use Premiere to edit. But 
put it up here. You give it a swank title that will catch the viewer's attention. Um, amazing game, lol, and then three exclamation points, and then space, and then the thing right above your enter when holding shift to make that straight line. And then name it whatever you want. Explore page exploration. And then you give it a, a description. Good. And then you link your Discord. Bam. You go. You, now it's time to make a thumbnail. So for your thumbnails, I open up a thing and I go to Canva. And I already have a preset made right here. Let's say you didn't have one. You don't have a preset. What do you do? So it's really easy. You go up to create a design up here. And you hit custom size and you do 1920 by 1080 just like that just kidding so um i actually don't remember the exact proportions because i always have this do it for me uh what are our proportions i literally don't even know our proportions why well, don't i know the proportions of this i'm an idiot i don't know the proportions of a youtube video so i put up youtube um thumb Thumb, thumbnail size or resolution 20 1280 720 okay cool so <laughs> create design custom 1280 720 920 1080 is a video size so boom you create this design and it gives you this blank template that I, I have a bunch of things that I have for thumbnails uh, like a bunch of them so what I like to do is you know I'm just gonna I normally I make a new one but so let's say for explore page exploration, I have to come down here and actually have to find it. What I know, what I use. Okay, so boom. Uh, here's an explore page. Picture of an explore page I have. So make it big. A lot of times, like tilt it slightly. Make it bigger. And like center it. It has center lines that it finds for you. Whatever, just just place it there. Then I hit adjust, and then I always set the vignette all the way up, the vignette, the vignette, to give it like these black outlines. And then I like to blur it by like three or five. I'll do five for this case. Bam! Now you have that. So it doesn't matter how bad quality it looks because you're just gonna blur it anyways. Then I find my words that just say explore page. Uh huh. Explore page, and I put it up at the top, and I make it big. Then I come down here, where my scratch cat is. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. And I go whoop whoop, and I just like <laughs> I just put him in some random location. And then I go. I just spell scratch thumb really wrong every time. Hit download, and then click the download button. Sometimes I spell scratch thumb right, so like for scratch thumbnail. Yeah. Come to here. No, not there. To here. Hit this upload thumbnail button. You need to verify your account before you do that, which is literally just getting an email. I uh, hit downloads, and I do the really wrong spelled scratch thumbnail, and then it shows up there. I select the playlist it goes into. Explore page exploration. I always hit no nap made for kids. Add some tags. Normally, my, my, my tags for explore page exploration is scratch explore page exploration you separate these with commas um, and then I put my name and then my nickname only reason I put my well not nickname that is my name uh, my YouTube name and then my YouTube nickname nickname Deku it's my name um oh yeah there it finally updated that but I put Deku because it's my name and Deku is an anime character or an anime character's nickname and it gets a lot of views <laughs> so I do that yeah and that's not, that's not only about it. I used to put a lot more effort, but then tags stopped being very helpful. Uh, and then for the category, it depends what I do. Normally for explore page exploration, I do gaming. But if it's not a gaming, like for the for the animation one I did, I, I'll just do like entertainment. And hit next. I don't even worry about that. Next. I like to hit schedule. And then schedule the date that it comes out. And my time that I always do, my time zone, 12 p.m. Obviously, that's different for a bunch of people. But yeah. And then I'd hit schedule, and then I'd get ready for it to upload. But I'm not actually going to upload this because it's garbage. I don't care about it. This is a 21 second video of me just showing you how to do that. But bam, that's my process for making scratch videos. Again, there's normally, I, I, I edit. I normally edit. Shut up. <laughs> you can tell because of the 
the the Slappy Bird video. Oh my goodness, that that, that this video right here, and I got a copyright claim because I used Undertale music, and now I don't use Undertale music as my background music anymore. Sucks that got a copyright claim. That's why like th this these copyright claim things. This is why I never I always mute my audio because I always get these copyright claims. Those don't actually do anything to your channel. It just means you can't make money off that video. I don't make money on YouTube anyways because the monetization for YouTube. You need three things. You need 3,000 video views, which I have. 1,000 subscribers. I'm getting there. Help me, guys. Please. I just I just want to be able to... I don't even care about the money. Just 1,000 is a cool number. And then uh, public watch view hours. 4,000. I'm pretty close. I'm, I'm really, really close. And I sent an email. I have it set up to send an email. Anyways. Um, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, then like it. If you didn't like it, like it. Anyways, because some people might start making scratch videos now. And you might see some more really cool tutorials out there. Um, but yeah. Well, you're gonna want to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. That that helped me out a lot. I mean, look, I'm half the way there. I'm more than half the way there to getting the a thousand that I want. A thousand is such a cool number. Anyways, yes, thank you. Watching, good, yes, good, why, yes, good. Join Discord link in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.